Hi everybody, my name is Daniel Campbell, and uh, I notice there's a lot of things uh, plaguing the PS4 right now, specifically one very big thing. It is the error CE34335-8. Uh, cannot access system storage error code. Um, the reason for this being is probably just because someone on the assembly line got really lazy, but I'll get to that later. You'll have to excuse the uh, clumsiness of the camera work in this, because I am using my webcam, which is not that easy. But anyway, moving on, how to fix it. Uh, is pretty simple actually. Here is the PS4. Very simple, uh, but one thing that you'll need to do absolutely first is unplug it from everything, and I mean everything. If you try to do this with the uh, power plugged in, you could seriously damage something. So here's how you fix that error code. This is how you access your hard drive. This shiny part right here, you just slide it up. That probably didn't move the hand, sorry, give me just a moment. Alright, here we go, and there is your hard drive, and that is technically the system memory. Now, the reason this is happening is that screw right there is missing. Uh, I have had a number of people contact me and tell me that they had the exact same issue I did. That screw is missing. I'm going to guess that someone on the assembly line just simply didn't do their job and put in that screw and it's probably costing Sony millions of dollars right now. So if you'll notice, your hard drive just kind of slides out. It's your standard hard drive, which is pretty awesome actually because you can replace this with an SSD. And SSDs are amazing, but this is just your standard when it comes with it. Basically what you want to do is you'll take it out just like I did, it just slides right out. You'll slide it all the way back in, making sure that it goes all the way in. And you'll want to get a replacement screw for this, which I have not done yet. but uh, this fixed it for me, just taking it out and putting it back in, making sure it goes all the way in. Don't be like a gorilla and force the crap out of it, but give it until it, till it doesn't go anymore. Now, I still recommend you probably contact Sony and uh, tell them that you want a replacement for the screw. I have no idea if it's some kind of proprietary screw, which sounds really stupid, but these look pretty uh, pretty unique. Um, it's kind of hard to tell with the quality of the video. but. Uh, yeah, basically you'll just want to go ahead and uh, get a screw to replace that one, make sure that this is all the way in, and uh, that fixed it for me, so basically just undo the hard drive, put it back in, slide your shield back on. I don't, I'm pretty sure it doesn't void the warranty because uh, Sony's actually pretty keen on uh, replacing the hard drive if you want. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple fix, but uh, a lot of people are not all that tech savvy and don't exactly know how to fix it and they don't want a bricked console uh, for the holiday season which is uh, kind of rough so anyway thanks for watching sorry it was kind of long-winded more long-winded than I anticipated but anyway enjoy